Okay, we're here. It is uh, 832 degrees. It's 832 degrees. It is Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's Thursday. Uh, we left on Saturday, so that makes this the sixth day. Sixth day of travel. Uh, we are now in. I'm not good at this. Where El Tahin. Uh, El Tahin. Uh, the ruins, O oh, El Tahin, yeah. um, which you can see just a little bit behind us of the walkway. We'll show you more in a second. Um, 200 miles to here, give or take, roughly 200 miles to here yeah. from Tampico. Uh, we rode through a lot of rain. We uh, dodged trucks in the rain pretty well. I mean, both of us are alive. A lot of potholes. A lot of potholes. A lot of potholes. Mm -hmm. Some of them get hidden when you when it rains too. That's mm -hmm. that's an extra added excitement there. A pothole in a puddle. Uh -huh. Just keep yeah. you awake. Yep, that'll uh, that'll wake you up for sure. Uh, it's been a uh, an eventful day. Um, we had some lunch as we entered the the ruins because um, they have all sorts of vendors and such here, which is pretty spectacular. Um, okay, so favorite thing about yesterday, least favorite thing about yesterday, goal for today. Favorite thing about yesterday, um, I think there's a couple things. Number one, a little rest from a very long ride the day before, uh, which was very good. Felt great today because of it. Um, the second thing was the you know we continued to eat meals in places and talk to folks. Uh, my girls Maria and Maria yep. really hooked us up for uh, for brunch, I would call it. Sure. You know, and accommodated us uh, pretty well. Some some good coffee for me and uh, allowed you to eat your enormous three sandwich meal yep. <laughs> from the vendor down the street yep. um, and we did our best to communicate with them even though we didn't know a lick of Spanish and they right. didn't know a lick of English yep. but it all seemed to work. It seemed to work. Lots and, of happy faces. Yeah and then um, and then you know a little dip in the pool and uh, and then some some drinks at the local metal bar. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was interesting. Yeah. That yeah. was very interesting. Go to the purple metal bar and yep. watch uh, motocross and drink right. drinks. Right. It was, uh, uh, barring the language and the drinks, it really felt a lot like home. Yeah. And for today, I mean, goal for today was to, to hit uh, Tahin, and Bill Tahin is here. And, and we are. It, uh, it's we pretty are cool. Uh, it's actually it's right there, yeah. and you guys can't see it, but we can. It's yeah, right it's there. It's right there. It's pretty spectacular. So that's pretty cool. And then, you know, whatever happens after this, depending on our time and it's where all we gravy. end up. Yeah, it's all gravy. Okay. I mean, we're pretty close to the coast, and I'm sure we'll make it. Sure. Um, okay, so... My favorite thing is the fact that uh, uh, apparently the notion of being vegan in this country doesn't exist. <laughs> so every time we order a meal, uh, Joe can't eat it. So I have to eat both portions, um, which frankly, I think is going to start being a problem in, in week two because I'm putting on weight quick. Um, but it is enjoyable to, to eat two meals every meal. Um, least favorite part of yesterday was I was I was raggedly tired. Yeah, like, you're, you're I, in was, shape. I was dropping my head all the time. Like I felt like I was wiped out constantly. So uh, I feel better today. I think a lot of sleep helped. Um, watching uh, Gravity in Spanish uh, also one of my my least favorite things about the trip. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, my goal for today is to make sure that. Um, that uh, I am smarter on the road uh, because I've made some bad choices here. They've worked out, but mm -hmm. I've done some dumb things so far and I prefer not to have to do that again. Um, and then my final goal before signing off is to show you guys uh, a little bit of LTE. <laughs> and there it is. That's El Tahin. Now, um, we don't know anything about this place. El Perro. Um, and there's a there's a wee pup that's joined us too. I think I, I don't know if I even got him in there. He's in there somewhere. Whatever. Um, we don't know anything about this place, so if you have an opportunity, uh, look it up and maybe you can tell us what we're looking at because it <laughs> looks like a really rustic hotel to me. And one thing I want to say before we sign off here is that um, and I was telling Chad this earlier is the people here are fantastic. I mean, I haven't. I don't think we've met a person yet that has given us a cross eye or anything like that. It's true. Everybody's been completely helpful and, you know, no feeling of any concern whatsoever with anybody here, any yeah. place we've been, quite frankly. Right. So. Street last night, pretty late, a little bit drunk and no problems. No. Felt really good there. Um, the metal bar was strange, too, because it felt like it should be rougher than it was. Well, and the guy was, was totally was awesome. cool. Yeah, yeah. really yeah, cool. So. 
Um, yeah. So if uh, if Central Mexico, uh, Eastern Central Mexico is in your travel plans, do it. No reason not to. You'll have it's, fun. It's beautiful and the people are great. Uh, bring a raincoat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you guys.